Hey guys, it's Phoenix Automotive here again, and in this video, we're going to show you how to set your USB thumb drive to FAT32. So if your USB thumb drive is uh, 32 gigabytes or less, it should be pretty convenient. All you need to do is just plug in your USB in the computer. And then when it does pop up on your computer, let's see, okay, it's right here. If I make a new window and I go to this PC and I right click on the USB thumb drive and do properties, if it's less than 32 gigabytes, um, how you check is the file system will say FAT32. If it says something else, what you're going to do is right click on the USB thumb drive, press format, and in the file system, you can choose what file system you want. I'm going to choose FAT32 because it's less than 32 gigs. I have that option. If it's more than a 32 gigabyte thumb drive, you will not have a FAT32 option. So what you can do is uh, in the description below, there should be a link to a Dropbox link. And that Dropbox link will take you to a program to download. And that program to download is called GUI. Uh, format.exe. So go to this link, download the file. After you download the file, it should be in your uh, downloads folder, which is right here. You can see GUI format. If I double click this right here, <coughs> ask me uh, allow permissions, yes. And you can see I can find E is the letter drive of my USB thumb drive. You can see E right there. And I'm going to do a check mark quick format, FAT32, and I'm going to press start. Now, if you do have an error, what you want to do first, if you press start and you get an error, what you got to do is first format the drive again and set it to XFAT and press start. So if you get an error, make sure you format the drive first. Then after you format and press close, Go back to the GUI format, press start, and it should automatically format it to FAT32. And again, to check the status or the properties, right click on it, properties, and it says FAT32. After you do this, you should be able to put files into your USB and update your unit using the thumb drive. Um, I guess now you can eject it and it should be good to go. Thank you guys for watching. Stay tuned for the next video. I'll see you guys later. Subscribe for future content. Bye, guys.